I'm Tineke van Gils. I started my ceramic career in Amsterdam in 1984. I worked for almost 80 restaurants, made all the tableware. And that gave me a lot of skills in ceramics. In 1996, I moved from uh, Amsterdam to Delft. Delft is the city of Delft Blue, and that's inspired by Chinese porcelain, by Jing de Zheng. Because of my skills on the wheel and because of the teapots, I was asked to make 100 teapots for an opera, the Turan Dot. And that's a story that plays in the surroundings of Beijing. And this project brought me invitations to come to the south of China to make another 100 teapots with the porcelain from De Hua. In 2009, that was my first meeting with De Hua porcelain, and I found that my hands were made for this extremely difficult material on the wheel. I loved the porcelain there. I fell in love as a teenage girl, uh, and later when I came home, I told the people everywhere that uh, Blanc de Chine, that's the name of this white porcelain, that Blanc de Chine is the most beautiful girl in the classroom. And it is. From the first I was in China, uh, I saw the old dragon kilns in the mountains uh, near Dohua, and I realized it's uh, going to change. I think when I go back to Dohua now, uh, the old kilns will be closed, almost all of them. What I learned also in China is that uh, things can change very, very quick. It can change in no time and things can be reorganized in less than no time. I also learned in China to think big. You can realize things uh, in art that are really impossible in the Netherlands. And uh, everyone helps you. I like the term of being a bridge builder, but it's not really my intention to be a bridge builder. I think I, uh, I became it uh, natural. And when I came back from Dohua, I wanted to tell the stories about this amazing, beautiful ivory white porcelain. And my idea was to organize Chinese New Year in my village. I invited all uh, interested potters uh, all over the Netherlands. And I asked the Shikong master to do a tiger dance. I invited also the drummers of my village to play with Chinese chopsticks on my, uh, on my tableware, on my plates and uh, bowls and they uh, gave an excellent concert. Via the ancient Silk Road, large quantities of porcelain reached uh, East Asia, the Islamic world, and then from the 16th century also Europe. In Delft in the 16th, 17th century, uh, we saw the qualities of porcelain and we saw how, they, uh, how it was made in Germany, but we couldn't reach that level. So we used the rural material from our earth. It was a gray clay and we uh, covered it with a white slip and painted blue on top. So it looked like Jing de Zen porcelain. In that way, we made a cheaper uh, variation of the uh, Jing de Zen porcelain uh, in our way, and it got famous all over the world. The ancient Silk Road allowed the trade in uh, silk and in lacquer and porcelain, but I think also it was an exchange of culture, and I think that's an important thing too. I hope the new Silk Road will go in the same way. When it comes to the opportunity of cultural exchange from the Netherlands to China, there's no limits. Uh, I hope new artists in residence 
programs will start. Uh, I hope we can go to China again to work as artists in residence. The uniqueness about ceramic art is that, that people don't have to speak the same language. I want to tell you a story about a Sega maker, the, the one who's making the Segas in Dohua. When I was there, he was my big friend uh, because he was making the Segas on the wheel and I was making the, uh, the porcelain on the wheel. And those Segas protect the most exclusive material in the world, the porcelain from Dohua. And I showed my Sega project to the man. And uh, when I came back six months later, he was in the corner of the field outside making the Segas. And instead of making a Sega, he transformed the clay into the body of a teapot. Without words, he laughed and smiled. And I recognized the basic shape of my teapot in his Sega. We had a very special moment. His welcome to me was more than words could say. Art can open opportunities to talk with other people. Art can tell much more than words can say. Art can talk where words end. I think that's an important thing. <laughs>